Hello, welcome to this Halloween episode. You're with Lord Fish, and we are going to make some pumpkins. So first we'll start off by highlighting this cube. We're gonna hit Shift A, we're gonna make a second cube, and you're just gonna have to bear with me why. So we're gonna hit, hit Shift, left click, and we're gonna have both highlighted at this point. Gonna go Tab, and then we're gonna hit Control B. And we're just going to use the mouse um, wheel on the inside, just rolling it in and out to adjust how many edges we're going to add. We're going to add enough that it looks like a decent shape and perfectly even, like so. Okay, and then we're going to do two things. We're going to color these two pieces right now. So we're going to go here, and we're going to go here, and we're going to grab just the one. And we're going to go plus new. We're going to make it like an orangey yellow, like so. And we'll hit tab and assign the color. Out of tab, we're going to hit S. Oh, why am I not seeing that color, actually? Oops, I changed the wrong one. If you ever do this and make that mistake, it's real easy. I'm not ex exactly sure how to set it back to par. So we can just go, as long as you're in edit mode, you can just hit minus. And then you can hit new. So just change this. And I got the right one this time. Make sure it's this top one you're changing. In edit mode, we'll hit assign. It should be yellow now. Make it bigger. We can see it's yellow. We'll make it slightly smaller like so. We'll grab the outer one. And hit plus, new. And we're going to make it orange. OK, and now we have an inner and an outer side of our pumpkin. So we can grab the inner one by clicking it twice. You can see the inner one highlighted. Left click, or sorry, shift and left click to grab the second one, then control J. And you can test the have that, that you have the whole thing by shrinking it and one's not popping through the other, so they're moving together. So now they're connected and they have two different colors. You can also see it over here in the color wheel that they're connected. So perfect, we have a good start. Let's go ahead and make a cylinder. Now we're going to go into, what the heck is this? Object properties, and we're going to turn it sideways with, like that, and we will shrink it. And we can bring it over here. Let's shrink it down a little bit more and change the shape a little bit more to a mouth type of shape. Um, Move it down into the place we're going to want to put the mouth. Take us there. All right. And shrink it side to side a little bit. Like so. If you make a mistake or you start moving it the wrong way, you can right click to cancel your movement. It just makes things a little easier. Okay. And here comes the harder part. You can go into to edit mode if you want and click off everything and we can slowly adjust these to make different shapes but I would actually do it a different way that it'd be a little bit easier first off let's just copy the shape and we'll move it forward just where we can see that it's a separate one now we'll take this and we will shift left click the pumpkin go up to object we'll go down to bool and we'll go to difference here the second one make sure you click this one and then we'll go to Modify Properties, and we will go to Fast. And you'll see that's going to give us a perfect edge to the inside. So you can see the inside of the pumpkin, you can see the outside of the pumpkin. And hopefully that's going to work for you. You might want to take the time afterwards to... Okay, let's go ahead and apply this first before we do anything. And can grab this edge and delete it. And you might want to take the time to... Um, I think this inner edge here would be, so we'll just go to edges, would be the same color as the other piece. So if I hit control now that I've left click that, I can slowly drag this edge along and it should just grab it all for me. Oops, did it go off? Yeah, I think it did. If you make a mistake, you can just undo, but control, left click, control, left click, and it should just highlight it all the way along for you until you got the whole thing. And then if we go to our colors, we can just hit this color and assign it. And now it's the same color as the inside. If you want it to be, I think it'd probably look a little better that way. So, all right, we got our mouth. Um, we What we probably need next is some eyes. So let's work on an eye shape. 
you can take the time to make the shape you want for your eyes. I'm just going to do some probably some pretty basic ones. So here we go. We'll drag it in like so. Make sure that you're through your front edge. Move it in a little bit. Um, you might want to add a nose. Depends how much detail you want to go into your for, for your pumpkins. Um, let's shift D this. And let's shift D it again and drag one forward. Grab the next one. Go over here. And I think it's going to be... Yeah, we're just going to go here and erase the minus, basically. And it's going to put us in exactly the same place on the other side for us. So now we got two matching ones. I'm going to grab this one. We're going to hit Shift D. Actually, let's not do that. We'll do it a different way. Grab this. Grab this. Grab our pumpkin. And we're going to object. Bool. And we are going to do the second difference. And then we're going to go to our modifier again, and we're going to go fast, fast for the same results. And apply, and apply. And it's just going to cut that edge for us and make it nice. So say you're going to make this into a pumpkin mask, it'd be looking really good. we got to dye those edges like we were talked about before, but let's just finish this off first. Delete that, delete that. Um, grab the head if you want, go into to edit mode, and make sure you're on uh, edges. Is it edges? Faces. And again, you just grab, control, left click, control, left click all the way around, and easily change the whole color. Go down here and assign it. There we go. And again, do the other side. All right, nice and easy and looking good. And we kept this piece for a reason. So let's reshape it a little bit, make it more of a circle as much as we can. Then we'll shrink it as much as, well, not as much as we can, but enough. And I'll do one of these. So now our pumpkin has crazy eyes. You can center it. You can do whatever you like with it. And we'll make it make sense in a minute because usually you'd use something like a toothpick to hold this in place on your pumpkin. In your real life pumpkin. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and we'll join it to our pumpkin with control. Actually, let's wait to do that. Let's wait to do that. So we got a couple more steps we gotta we gotta do here. So let's get them done before we join anything else to our pumpkin, because we might have some issues with that. Alright. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go to to edit mode after clicking our pumpkin and we're going to hit control R and it's just going to make a little line all the way down the middle and make sure you're holding your mouse over the middle when you do it and right click to let it auto center and we're going to do it again on the other middle like so and then we're going to go to two vertices and we're going to grab the very middle one we're just going to slide it down a little bit just give us this little part that goes in like so going to change our pumpkin shape, not but not too much. All right, next we're going to have to have a lid for our pumpkin so it looks like there's a roof for a pumpkin that we can lift out. So let's make another cylinder. Make sure you're out of edit mode, and we'll make a cylinder. All right, and before we do anything, we're going to have to have one side bigger than the other. The top would be the bigger side. So in edit mode, after clicking on it, we're going to hit S and drag it out, like so. Go out of edit mode, and we're going to hit S again to make it smaller. I'm going to move it up into place, and you're going to decide how big you want the opening on the top of your pumpkin to be. Once you've decided, I've decided mine's going to be about that big, I'm going to hit Shift D, and I'm going to drag this a little bit bigger, and then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, like so. And then I'm going to grab the outer one, I'm going to hit Object, Bool difference okay now we're going to grab this piece and we're going to grab our pumpkin and then we're going to hit object bool and then we're going to check the second difference and then we're going to go up over to here and hit fast Ooh, i don't know if that made it better actually might be better like this 
I don't know if we went all the way through though. Okay, let's let's see, let's see real quick. Oh no. So at edit, edit mode, we'll apply that. We'll grab this, and we'll just delete it. And I'm just gonna make sure we got a clean edge here. So I'm gonna grab my pumpkin, go into edit mode, and hit L. And it didn't have a clean edge because it's grabbing the whole thing. Okay. Um, okay, we're gonna have to do it a different way. What am I? What have I done wrong here? All right, let's just go back. And sometimes you have these little tiny issues when booling, and you just gotta find the right adjustment to make it okay. So let's see what we can do if we can adjust this. No, that's not going to help us. No. <laughs> I don't know if that did it. It doesn't look like it. gonna do this I don't know what's going wrong here maybe if we just pull it up a little bit and again you might have to toy with this a little bit to make it work and you'll know when it works because um, you'll be able to separate the top easier we can still separate it. I'm just trying to find the easiest way to do it to uh, minimize issues but let's try that and see if that worked by moving it up a bit all right grab the pumpkin and edit mode l no it didn't work so it looks like we're gonna have to grab this individually and uh separate it but i'm not gonna actually need my pumpkin to open so i'll, I'll let you grab that part those parts individually and you're just gonna have to grab them face by face until you get them all off if you need your pumpkin off but honestly it shouldn't be that big of a deal so what I would do next is we'll make ourselves a little pumpkin top, like so. And we will go to edges, and we'll just grab these four edges. And we'll control B to roll the edges till we get a nice smooth spot like that. And we'll hit S, and we'll shrink it way down, like so. Maybe a little bigger, actually. And then we'll grab this top piece and we'll swing it one way or the other like so. But we'll also shrink it at the same time. You can add a bit more detail to it if you'd like by grabbing some of the edges and just moving them around a little bit. Maybe not that much. Just here and there once in a while like so. Just kind of give it a bit of a more texture. And you can do the same thing with the pumpkin to give it a bit more texture at the same time. Honestly, it's just a pumpkin, so I don't know how far I go into that. Depends what you're using it for, how much. Like, if it's a harvesting game, you're probably going to want to work a little harder. But if it's a Halloween decoration, you're probably going to want to leave it at that. And then we can go ahead and join it to our pumpkin well, by grabbing one and shift-click the other. And then control J, like so. And we can go ahead and make that a different color as well. So we'll hit plus, new... Make that like a brownie color, something like this. And we will go click off everything. Oh, click on the pumpkin in edit mode. Click off everything. L over that. And there we go. So now it's a brownie kind of color. I think that's what color the stalks are a pumpkin. You can change yours accordingly. All right, let's finish the eyes real quick. And then we'll do some uh, smoothing on this. So we... I guess we can, we're okay with this for the color, or for the piece for the eye, so I'll just shift D it, and we'll put it in place on the other side. Let's see. Yeah, there we go, we'll just hit minus here. All right, and then to hold them in place, we will make a cube. We'll shrink it down to nothing. Drag it forward, and we'll just place it in the middle of one of these. All right, and we'll start stretching it like this, and shrinking it with S, 
until it looks like it might be a small toothpick or a small piece of wood like so. And then we'll drag it a bit forward for it centered on the piece. And then we'll center it that way. Once it looks like it's in place and it looks good to you. Looks like it's still back quite a ways. I'm sure it's in the pumpkin. You can go a little smaller too if we want. And we'll just have to give those different colors. And we'll hit Shift D. And we will hit minus. We'll get rid of this minus, and it'll be in the exact same place on the other side. So now we have toothpicks holding them in place. I think it looks pretty good. <clears throat> we'll just grab those, all four of them, with shift left click, and then we'll shift left click the pumpkin last and control J. And now we have them joined, and we just need to do some coloring on them. These pieces would be the same yellow, I'd imagine, as the pumpkin, as the insides, like so. And we can also just make them another color if we like, but we can highlight these two after. Make sure you click off everything before you highlight them. And we'll go make these a different color. Like, uh, I don't know what color a toothpick is, but there you go. So now we have our eyes held in place, and it's looking pretty good. Some teeth would be pretty easy to do, so maybe we'll just do one real quick. Let's make a cube. And we'll shrink it down, obviously. Move it forward. Um, let's take this top face. Sorry, I thought it was on faces. And we'll just shrink it down, and we're in edit, edit mode, of course. And um, we'll hit Control-R. And we'll put that directly in the middle. Right-click to cancel moving it for it's directly centered. Then we'll take this one and this one, and we'll dissolve edges, giving us a tooth shape. And then we will just drag this in the slightest bit. And then we'll go out of edit mode, and we'll stretch it all out a bit like this. And we'll shrink it down. Now again, you're probably going to want to make a bunch of these teeth, um, depending on what color you want to make them. If you want to make them look like the inside of the pumpkin or the outside, uh, all depends what you want to do. If you just want to make the one edge look like the outside, I guess that's what we'd probably want to do most likely. So let's just drag this down. Oops. Drag this down in place until you can't see the edges. They're buried in the pumpkin. Something like that. I think that's about right. And we'll go into edit mode. And we will, um, you know what? Let's let's just for easy for making sure we make use the right colors. We'll control, or sorry, we'll grab it, grab the pumpkin, control J, and then we will go into edit mode. Click off everything. Um, go to faces. Click L over top of this. We'll make it the actual inside of the pumpkin color and then we'll just take this one and this one and we'll make them the outside pumpkin color making sure that we're using the same color palette for they'll change together and as you can see now we got our, our matching pumpkin tooth so we'll just hit L again over it oh wait a second why well, didn't highlight it all what's going on here well, yeah it worked it worked So now I can right click and set origin to geometry. So we're right there on the moving spot. We can shift D it. So now it's, this is a separate tooth. You can move it up and um, all right, how are we gonna, sorry, I'm looking for it. 180, that, nope, that's wrong. 180 here, nope. All right, 180 here, there you go. Shift D, and uh, make sure it's in the pumpkin. Oh, it's a little bit back there, so let's just grab them both. I just made a new one. Move it a bit forward as the pumpkin's face moves forward. It looks like it moves a little bit. Then just click the one, drag it off to the side, Shift D, and you can use your minus to put it over on the other side, and you can just slowly fill up his mouth like that, Shift D. You're going to have to adjust them here and there, move this one down a little bit. And then shift D it and minus it to the other side. 
And you get the idea as we get scarier and scarier. Shift D. Shift D. And the mouth just fills itself really quick. All right. So it looks like those two actually have to come down a little bit. So we'll just move them both down by clicking on both at once there. Same with the mouth on the bottom. Shift D. Shift D. And then we'll add the minus since we're going the other way this time. Shift D. Until you got all the teeth in the mouth the way you want them. Shift D. I'll just add one more. You get the idea. I won't do them all. Wait, where'd that go? Did I not move that? There we go. So now we're going to grab our teeth. Here we are. We got our big teeth. All right. And let's attach them to our pumpkin. Control J. All right. We got a pretty frightening little pumpkin here. So let's maybe shade smooth them. And we'll go down to our normals. And we'll change that to 35. And there we go. We got ourselves a really handsome looking pumpkin. He's one handsome devil, I would say. Um, one last thing. I guess we want to do these faces here. We probably want to do them the same as the outside of the pumpkin. It would look more natural, like so. Um, and I'm not sure how far we are into this video, but maybe just make one last piece here all right let's just try to make one last piece we'll make a little candle and a little candle holder real quick so we can have our pumpkin light up for us in our game or art project or something something like that until it's basically a circle doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Sometimes it's better when it's like an item like this that you don't use a perfect circle. And then we're going to go, we're just going to quickly make this. Keep in mind we're not spending a lot of time on us. We're going to hit I, and then we're going to hit E, and then we're going to change with Y, no, nope. X, no. Nope. So it's going to be Z. And we're going to go down like this. And then we're going to hit S again to shrink these. And we can just use our arrows to move them down a little bit. And we're just making a little candle holder. So until it kind of looks good like that. Say it looks pretty good, I'd say. So let's hit sh Shift A. We'll use a cylinder this time. What the hey? Let's st oops, stretch it up, just up. And then hit S. And we'll move it down. Let's shrink this down a little bit. Something like this. So we got our candle and our candle holder. Obviously, they're a little big. We'll fix that up. Okay. I'll just shrink it a little bit more until it looks about right. I guess it's sticking out through it pretty far there, too. All right. We'll grab this top edge. We'll hit I. We'll go in a little bit. We'll hit down. Hit I, and we'll just go all the way down to there, and then we'll go down a little bit more here. And then we're going to hit E, and we can move this a little bit side to side, E, and that's going to be our wick. Okay? Now you can light that on fire. If you want it just to be straight up, just go back. It might look better straight up, to be honest. Yeah, let's just go straight up. There we go. Now we got our wick for our candle. So let's attach that to our holder. Control J. Um, let's make ourselves a little cool handle for this thing or something. Cylinder again. Let's turn it sideways. Let's shrink it down. Let's move it back. Shift D it. And we'll stretch this one out this way. And then we'll hit S to make it a little smaller than our holder, our handle, like so. And we'll grab the second one, we'll bool, and we'll just go difference, because we don't really need to modify it very much. And we'll just make it a little ring, and we'll just take it down, and we'll just sit it on the side of our candle. Oh, we got a little candle with a little holder. Look at that. Grab it, Control J, all attached. We'll right-click it, shade smooth it. We'll hit normals, we'll go up to 35. 
and it should look pretty good. And then all we got to do is color it and shrink the whole thing to fit in the pumpkin. So let's just give it a quick coloring. I hope this helps you with your Halloween. I'm sure you can use the candles and lots of things, and um, you just need to add a flame in your game, but I'm sure that'll be easy enough with some Niagara effects or something like that. Get this really fast or quickly colored up here. So we already got one color. Make sure we're in edit mode. Let's make it like a yellowy. I kind of want to make it like a bronzy color, but I guess that's the color of our pumpkin. So let's make it. Uh, let's make it a metal color. There you go. Hit a sign. Hit L on the candle. We'll make the candle white. And we'll hit L on the wick. Oops, I guess we can't just hit L on the wick, can we? So this is how we're going to do the wick. We're going to hit Shift and drag our left click out. And just grab it like so. Do it again until you got the whole thing. And that's about the easiest way we're going to be able to grab that. You can make sure you got the top after. Looks like I just let go of it. And we'll hit plus and we'll make this one black. And that'll be our burnt wick color. All right, and we've set a color to each one. You just need to add a flame. I think it looks pretty good for a candle. Let's grab our pumpkin and we will move it back down. And we will do that by just going zero. And then we'll move our candle. And we can just put it up until it fits inside. I think that's a little big. We'd probably be having a pretty big fire in there. Just adjust the size until it fits in there. It's not flowing through the bottom. It looks like we're in place, I think. So something like that, and there you go. You have your your candle with your, your pumpkin. And I hope it works for you, and I hope it helps you with your project and your Halloween. And yeah, come check out our channel if you'd like to see more. If this video has helped you today, be sure to check out our games. we got two current projects. One's about to launch on Steam on November 30th called Yard Sales Simulator, and it is exploding with popularity. You can check out the free demo as well and give it a try before you buy. You can also check out our other game, Fished in a Town to Remember, which is vastly becoming a, a classic to many people. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the humor and uh, quirky fun, as well as all the autom automotive simulator uh, qualities. Uh, it's not a simulator, but there's quite a bit of uh, automotive qualities and jobs in the city including pizza delivery and many many other surprises and fun including a storyline so check it out make sure you thumbs up the videos check out our channels queen fish games on youtube and my channel lord fish games or gaming one of the two and you can also find us on twitter you can also check out our website queenfishgames.com we are blowing up and uh, you're welcome to be a part of that Thanks for watching again, and we'll see you next time. Happy Halloween, everybody.